Hello guys, Assalamualaikum and have a good day. So stay safe, stay away from people, so avoid the virus. So today I'm going to explain a little bit about galvanostatic charge discharge. So here, for example, in the Nova 2.1, you go to the library and you got the GCD. You want to run the GCD. You double click it and uh, it's open the data here. And first, you must fill in all the columns given the first column asks you about the value of the current for example the first one you want to run the zero or one current density the first one this is the value of the current density so for the current density is current divided by mass if you are using one current density value here is the value of current you must divide by the mass so for example you are using one current density so the mass is 0 0.00209 divided by one you got this value so the second one is the negative value so you must put the negative current value so first of all you must know the mass of the sample so divide by current density then you get no times the current density then you can get the value of the discharging current it actually the negative value of the charging current so first the charging current then discharging current then you put the potential window value here so for example if your potential window is 0 to 0 0.7 just put here is 0 0.7 so in our case, our potential window from 0 to negative 1.4, the potential window is negative 1.4, positive 1.4. So next is uh, the starting potential window is 0, from 0 to 1.4. So next, put the number of cycle. You want your GCD like this, one cycle, two cycle, or more than that, or only one cycle. Usually we put two cycle because we will use the second cycle. Then for the outer lap control, you can control the current range. For example, we put the maximum 100 milliampere. So the rest just um, remain. Then for the applied current, use the same one, the current that you put in the charging current. And then go to the repeats and times so for the repeats and time for the charge set current the same amount of the charging current and record signal duration we put 600 seconds however when the system run there it is not necessary to follow this duration maybe they can charge less than 600 uh, maybe more so you must uh, observe from the graph for the discharging current put the discharging current and the record signal the same we put the duration for 600 as you can see here even though after we run we put for charging and discharging for 600 even at only here around 80 they start to discharge uh, it's not follow the 600 that's the estimation so after you put all the value you can click start button uh, before that uh, this one is the data you must convert first convert the data into the procedure and click yes and after this uh, symbol appear this is the procedure double check it double check everything and you double check everything is this good the same then you click run it's quite simple and you can get the graph like this so this is the galvanostatic charge discharge if you have a problem about it you can ask in the comment thank you very much